Welcome back, party people. I was just going back up here to look at, back at that paw place, but I didn't even notice there was a house over here. Jenka's house. Oh, and there's where we teleported in. So, I brought a dog here, just as I was told to. Ow, ow, that's my doggie. Gave her the dog. You returned him to me. That was very nice of you. What? The red flower? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. How you do it, Auntie? Oh, it's you, Balrog. What, she knows him? You look good. How's my stupid daughter been lately? What? Stupid daughter. You mean misery. She's always fine. A new master has appeared. This time, the surface will finally be ours. What? Are you still too? Are you two still trying to do that? I'm not here to cause you any trouble. I just came by to pick up the key to the warehouse. You know, the warehouse with the flower seeds. Ha! Huh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Balrog. Is that so? You're just pretending that you don't know? I see. You're going to betray us then. Is that it? You'll be sorry. Oh, is not actually going to fight us? A new master. It must be another idiot at it yet again. About my dogs, I have four more still. My little pups. But these legs of mine are so very weak. Sorry for the inconvenience, but would you mind finding the rest of my dogs for me? Oh, they're her dogs. Yeah, I can get them home. Sorry for the inconvenience, but please find the rest of my dogs for me. Well, shit. Can I, is there anything in there? Nah. I gotta, I gotta take the dogs to Jenka. Oh, but now I can't get to that thing up there. I gotta get this doggy down here. It's a doggy. Wanna come with me? No, no, you have to come with me. You have to be my friend. <laughs> what? Can I not get you like this? Can I not get the woof? There we go. Do you want to bring him along? Heck yeah! Picked up the dog. Woof woof. I can go back up to that area that was way up top. Oh, I gotta get him from this side. Is it really just a save point up here? Dang it. At least we can give this pupper back to his mama. He's your, He's your baby. You're fast. This is certainly one of my beloved little dogs. Avery the dog, by the way, you must be a soldier from the surface. It's been a long time since all those robots just like you came to this island. They were responsible for the deaths of so many defenseless Mimiga. And for the lives of the brave men and women who tried defending the Mimiga. Due to the effects of consuming the forbidden red flower, the cornered Mimiga became utterly rabid. They fought back viciously against the robots that had invaded their island. Who knows, had there been no red flower, it's very possible that the Mimiga on this island might have been annihilated. Three more left. I know you can do it. <laughs> Oh boy. So has there been a succession of people that have tried to use the power of the red flower to to get revenge, to force the Mamiga to get revenge, but they don't they don't want to participate in the cycle of revenge, they just want to live their little Mamiga lives. But does does the doctor think he's actually working for justice? I don't know. It's a mystery. I'm so sick of these frickin' skull birds. I thought you were cute at first, but now I'm just sick of ya. And I'm back near the sleepy puppy. Will you come with me? Yeah! But what about the... The water puppy! Oops. I'm 
I'm realizing that I think my instinct is to play this game kind of like a Kirby game or something where you're just barreling through hitting things. But I think I think I actually need to play it much more cautiously like a like a Dark Souls, like a 2D Dark Souls. Which is probably pretty obvious to people that are familiar with platformers. I'm just I'm just not. It's like a whole different mindset that I have to have. All right. I got your third doggie for you. Oh, definitely. That one's mine. Gave her the dog. Thank you so much. This one makes three. Have you ever seen an enraged Mamiga? Eating the red flower will make me stronger. A great many of the Mamiga believed this and chose to eat the red flower. Then and only then did they fight back against the battalions of robots. But do you know what happens afterwards to a Mamiga filled with such rage? It was so terrible. Perhaps they couldn't control themselves. Well, most of the Mamiga who consumed the red flower were never to be seen again. They went missing. I heard a rumor that they were supposedly made that they supposedly made it down to the surface. Made it down to the surface? Where the humans live? The thought of the enraged Mamiga anywhere close to the surface with humans. If it's really true, do you yet realize it? Do you realize how dangerous the red flower actually is? Two more pups. <laughs> Just casually dropping all this dark story information while I get her dogs back. But, huh, down to the surface. I guess, does that mean that we're, we're on a floating island? We're on like an island in the sky? Hmm. I think, yeah. Okay. There's how we get to those. Excellent. What's this? Open the treasure chest. It's a dog! Oof, oof, oof. Gosh. Undertale is one of my favorite games, and now I can definitely see the influence of this game on it. Where you can get dogs out of treasure chests like you do. You are the popular one. My dogs aren't very fond of troublemakers either. I really do appreciate all your hard work so far. Gave her the dog. Is it the warehouse key that you're after? The same warehouse that contains all the red flower seeds in it. It doesn't matter to me who you are, understand? I can't give you the key to the warehouse, sorry. Opening the warehouse, that would be foolish. Foolishly allowing an encore of the same tragedy from before. One, two, three, four, one more to go. But I want to destroy it, you don't know. But I guess maybe they also need to keep those red flowers as a last ditch way to defend themselves. Oh man. Yeah, obviously there's also the aspect that this game, like you have these innocent monster people that the humans have mistreated because they're scared of them, even though they shouldn't be. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I looked up a guide because I needed to know how to get to this pupper. And I completely forgot... Yeah, I guess this thing is actually much more specific than I assumed it would be. And it shows us how to get to this pupper, so we need to, like, get up and around somehow. But yeah, we can get to this sweet, sweet baboo. So that's what's important. So wait. Yeah, and then it shows that I can go up. Okay. And then, and then there's, like, a passage up here. Yeah, 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 yeah! Baby, I finally got you. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Do you want to bring him along? Of course. Oh, thank goodness. All is right with the world once again. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Krako. <sighs> the, the guide I found, it was like, the dog will start yapping once you get close to it, but you can shut him up by picking him up. And then I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a poor dog trapped in an abandoned house. What, what, what's wrong with you? Uh, I immediately feel so much better this round. It's because I'm, I'm, I'm getting these dogs home. Oh, I have the warehouse key. Alrighty then, see ya. Wait! Well, where, where's the dogs? 
Please tell me they just hid somewhere. Oh, it's you. Gave her the dog. The key, the key to the warehouse was stolen by Balrog. Please stop them. They'll unleash rabid Mamiga possessed by the red flower against the surface. Wait, please take this with you. Obtained a life pot. Use it and your life will be fully restored, but just once. Oh, it's a potion. Nice. Oh, I also have this someone pointed out. Uh, I guess I got that for sleeping with Chaco. It's so weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Where's the rest of your dogs? You have to tell me. Juan. Oh, he barked in Japanese. Oh, man. Just as I thought that everything was going to be okay with these puppers. They'd better just be hiding. Well, now we can get to the warehouse at least. I assume we're gonna have another boss fight with Mr. Balrog. Alright, we're saving over here. I am I am getting better. I am improving. And that is the greatest gift of all. I, I'm gonna get a most improved star sticker. It's actually the doctor. Great doctor. All the red flower seeds have been harvested. He has a weird ass face. Good. By the way, the flowers blooming there. Hmm. Are they the demon flowers? Yes, sir. Well, well. Such an ominous flower. Unexpected to say the least. My great doctor, would you like to eat one? No, that won't be necessary. Well, why don't we sample it? by using a Mamiga instead. He, it looks like he has, like, is that thing on top of his head controlling him? Has it just, like, possessed him? Uh, oh, it's Taroko. Huh, here. Wah! Hey, where are you going? Balrog, make her eat a red flower. Got it. No. Please don't. Eat it, eat it. Stop now. Oh, it's King. He's got a sword! Taroko, are you alright? King? Oh no, she already ate one! Oh, my head! No! You're that doctor! Indeed. I am the doctor. And your new leader. I should say it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Tell me, is there something you'd like to do with that sword of yours? Heh. <laughs> I'm going to kill you! Oh no! Oh no! Without the power of the red flower, they're weak. Oh. You're that persistent soldier from the surface. You have perfect timing. They're all yours. A small gift from me to you. Hehe. <laughs> There's no need for you to thank me. Handle them, will you? Oh, he's oh no! No, I don't want to fight Torko! Oh no! This is bullshit. Oh man, come on. The worst. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm distracted by how I don't want to be doing this. <laughs> I'm distracted by my no. I'm gonna die. Might have to take take a round two at this. <laughs> yeah. Alright, at least I saved right there. Ah, making me watch all this again. Piece of shit. Oh, I see the yellow thing spawn wherever she throws a block. I don't know why the block would spawn flowers, but okay. These me seals.
Should be able to strong arm this. Yeah, there we go. I'm so sorry, Toroko. <laughs> Defeated rabid Toroko. Wait, please tell me. Did I kill her? Is she dead now, King? Gah. I can't help you anymore. Will you avenge me? What? Is King dead? Obtain the blade. But, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. I do like having a, a sword. A sword I can throw. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You're still alive. There was one back then, too. A tough little robot like you. There'll be no end to this if we try to take you head on. I'm sending you to the labyrinth. What? And you, too. Eh? Ha ha ha. That was refreshing. You've hit the ground floor. Where is this place? Well, there's other robots. You were thrown down here by that witch misery, too. Poor little guy. The island's junk is stored here. Once you're in here, you'll never be able to get out. No! Poor robots. No response. What about you, buddy? The switch for this door is supposed to be all the way up top, but the footing's real bad. I've fallen so many times that I've broken my leg. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Alright, so we gotta get up there. I see all these eyes. It's not great. I don't like it. What a miserable place. Thanks, misery. At least I have a sword I can throw. Hup. Hup. Need to level it up. Oh, that guy's so danger. Can I get him with my fire? Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Ha ha ha. Alright. They- <laughs> They purposefully put- Oh wait, I'm so stupid. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do that. Alright. Oh, I have low health. I need to be careful. I need to be very careful. Which is my whole problem this whole run so far. Dang it. They can shoot now. It's no fair. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Um. Can I jump up there from here? It looks like I have to. How's that work? Oh, haha! -ha, actually did it! Oh man, that's the kind of jump that I absolutely will not be good at. Um, I can't get up there, can I? Nah, I have to get over there. Oh boy. God, and I'm gonna have to do this, like, if I fall, I have to do it all over again. Oh no. Oh no, I'm already miserable. This is the worst. <gasps> Life capsule. I need it. Okay. Oh no. Oh boy. This is what we're doing now, huh? Will it come back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, I can always cut out all the parts where I screw up, so it's all right. Dang it, it's like... There we go. Do you want to open the door? Heck yeah! That's not so bad. Now assuming I don't take falling damage, woo! Yeah! I guess that's because I'm a robot. Oh man, I just know that it said it, it contains the spirit of King. Oh man. Poor King. We barely knew ye. The mangled remains of a robot. Oh, they finally got through and then they got destroyed. It's all your fault. Jerk. Right, you're gonna move, right? Or not? Oh man, I don't know which ones are gonna move, so I gotta be careful. Oh! Now it's funky! <laughs> oh, I wonder what this like is like fully leveled. I gotta be very careful because I'm low on health. Are these like... Oh, I think someone mentioned ninja roaches. Is that what these are? Just risking it. Alright, what's this? Labyrinth shop? Gah, I want to eat Mamiga. What's that scent? I faintly smell Mamiga on you. Uh, I can't kill him? Are these all quote-unquote friendly? It was ages ago, a witch lived alone in solitude here on this island. That witch would ultimately use her magic to create this labyrinth and confine us Gaudi within. Gaudi? Oh man, I have to do that kind of jump. Ugh. Gotta practice that. Hey dude, what's up? Ever seen the outside of this island? It's floating high up in the sky. How the island happens to float, the secret to that is hidden deep inside the labyrinth. Yeah, it's floating. I knew it. A way out of the labyrinth does, does exist, however, the path leading to the exit is obstructed by a single boulder. I'm not even sure if the exit can be reached after moving the massive piece of rock. I'll reach it. Hi. <laughs> this is a labyrinth shop. Unfortunately, a burglar broke in recently and took everything, so I don't have anything to sell you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ah, uh, look, I'll give you this. Oh, obtain the turbo charge. It's free, no charge. You don't have any money anyway, right? What's a turbo charge? Speeds up the rate of ammo recovery from the machine gun. Oh, excellent. Can I jump up there? I don't think so. Oh, it looks like there's a teleporter, so maybe I, I can teleport there from somewhere else. Alright. Funky, funky, funky. Time to go kill all your friends right after you gave me a free thing. be very careful because I'm bad at this. They like turn purple sometimes? Are they like making a mucus and shooting it at me? Looks like its range got shorter, but maybe it's stronger like that? Haha! -ha. Full on health. Doing better. What's this? Camp. Oh, it's, it, it's Curly Brace. 
What are you doing here? Hi, long time no see. You look great. So you were warped down here by that witch misery. Me too. Even you weren't able to succeed against them. I did have a tiny bit of hope. Like you, I tried my best and this is where I ended up. I'm disappointed in myself. When it comes down to it, I couldn't protect them. With this body in this shape, getting out of here is going to be next to impossible. Oh man. Look at this little, little nurse frog. Are you her friend? If you want to save her, it's best you do whatever the doctor says. I'm a physician. Allow me to take care of you. Mm hmm? Don't worry, I won't take your money. In exchange, please accept a simple request from me. There's an old clinic nearby. Go there and see if there is any medicine left inside. Obtain the clinic key! I am actually going to end this episode here. But we we saved those dogs, and then and then they disappeared, so I don't know if they're saved after all. And then we killed two of our friends, and then we got warped to a horrible labyrinth, and then and then we helped some robots escape. But then the robots got killed, and then our, our friend Miser our friend uh, of, of Curly Brace, she also looks sad. Everyone's sad. We gotta we gotta make it better. We gotta do better. We're we're gonna do better. We're gonna help everyone. But I hope you have a wonderful day where none of that happens. Wink.